Huh? Huh? You said seafood gumbo? You want Miss Tip to make you some seafood gumbo? Let's go. For this, we'll be using a pound of boneless skinless chicken thighs, a pound of boneless shrimp, two pounds of snow crab, a pound of turkey kielbasa sausage, some coke okra, green onions, regular onions, colorful bell peppers, parsley, garlic, celery, some chicken base, stewed tomatoes, Worcestershire sauce, or Worcestershire sauce, or West Side of Shire sauce, however you want to say it, some thyme leaves, Creole seasoning, bay leaves, garlic, onion powder, paprika, some butter, and some pepper. We're going to heat our oil, some grapeseed oil, to so start off browning our chicken. We're going to put it for like two to three minutes on each side just to get it a nice golden brown. So now that your chicken is brown on both sides, look at that. Just take them off. To the same pan, you're going to add your sausage and just saute them. You can use beef, chicken, even vegan. I just use turkey. So for these sausages, it only takes a couple of minutes to brown. You just really want to get that flavor into the pot and to just get them a nice golden color. These are all ready to come out. Easy peasy. Now to that same pan, our sausages are cooked in. We're going to add our veggies, that celery, onion, bell peppers, garlic, and just a little bit of green onions. We're going to save some of the green onions for later. Now we're going to saute these veggies down. Look at that. Look at all those colors. Just so they get a little bit translucent. So now that our veggies are soft, then we're going to add four tablespoons of butter. Now that our butter is melted, we're going to add half of our parsley. And then we're going to put in about four tablespoons of flour just to start our roux. And it's going to help thicken the gumbo. Mix it up really good. So it's a little bit thicker paste. And we're going to let that cook until it get a nice deep brown color. See, this is about the consistency that you want. So you're going to let that go until it get brown. Okay, so now that you have a brown color on your veggies, you're going to add about two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Or West Side of Shire sauce, as my husband likes to say. There's two tablespoons of that. Tablespoons of that. That's going to give it that nice um, flavor. And we're going to add this 12 ounce can of stewed tomatoes right on in there. And then we're going to also add two cups of chicken broth. I used the chicken brace and just followed the instructions to make two cups of chicken broth. As you can see, there's remnants of base in the bottom. You can use regular chicken broth if you want. We're going to go ahead and mix that in together. Okay. Now you can add everything back into your pan. And then add two bay leaves. And after that, we're just gonna let it cook until the chicken is completely done. How could I forget? I almost forgot to add the thyme leaves. That's about a teaspoon of that. Okay, so our chicken have been cooking for about 30 minutes now, maybe 40, 30 to 40 minutes. But you just want it to be able to shred up just like that. See that? You want it to be done. Now, if you do not eat seafood, you can stop right here and just add some okra. Let it cook for about five minutes and that be that. If you do eat seafood, continue on. So I am going to take the bigger pieces of chicken out if I can find any like this, just so I can cut them up. So now I'm going to add some okra. That's about a cup full. I'm going to let that go for about two to three minutes before we add our seafood. Now this is where you want to stop if you do not eat seafood. You want to stop right here, let it cook for about five minutes, and then you're done. Now we're going to go ahead and add our seafood. We have a pound of shrimp. That's the um, large shrimp. I'm going to add them in. And the reason why we made this to the end is because, as you know, it do not take that long for shrimp and crab legs to cook. We're pretty much just heating them up. So we put a pound of shrimp in, and then we're gonna add in two pounds of crab legs. Excuse the doggy. So yeah, we're just gonna push these down in there. Once they start to cook some, you'll be able to push them down some more. I'll try to put all of that ice in there because you don't want it to water down your sauce. 
So now as you can see, now that they're starting to cook down some, the crab legs are a little bit more pliable. We can go ahead and push those right on in there. You want them to kind of break on their own so it'd be more um, rustic on your, in your gumbo. So now we have those done. We're just gonna cover it and let them simmer for about 10 minutes. Oh, wait, I almost forgot again to add the rest of your green onion and your parsley. And the reason why we waited to the end is because you want them to be a little bit more fresh to hold up their flavor and their texture. So now we're gonna cover it and let it cook for about 10 minutes. Okay, so our seafood has been in for about five minutes and I'm just pushing the crab legs down and kind of breaking up the knuckle parts just so you can have more individual crab legs and they're not all bunched up. That way they go a little bit further than what they would if you had them all together. I'm just gonna go ahead and push them down more. They were fully submerged, but I kind of pulled them out a little bit just to make sure I broke them up some. They're almost about ready. As you can see, our shrimp has curled up. So I'll say about two more minutes and then it'll be time to serve. Okay, so now we're ready. You see how this shrimp looks? You see how it's kind of pink and it's curled up? It's not loose and brown like it was when we first started. That's when you know that you're ready to go. You do not want to keep cooking this and the shrimp gets rubbery. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. And I'm gonna use one of my, um, what's these called? <laughs> I forgot. I'm gonna use one of these just to get a little bit of that sauce down over the rice. Look at that. We're gonna go in with our tongs and grab up a couple of these crab legs. This is my husband's plate I'm making, so you guys know that he is a meditarian. He loves him some nice crabs. I'm gonna go ahead and put that over there like that. I'm gonna go in and grab some more of the goodness. It kind of all sunk to the bottom because of the crab legs. I'm gonna go down in there and get that chicken. Look at that. That chicken and that okra and the sausage and the shrimp. You want him to have, or them, whoever you're cooking this for, you want them to have a nice amount of everything inside of there. Look at that. See that? Nice little bowl of deliciousness. Uh-oh. Put some more sausage on top. I think he needs some more shrimp. He doesn't have that many shrimp in here. He will be mad. Hey, babe, you're being skipped me on the shrimp. Look at that. And then we're going to add some more green onion right on top just to make it festive and to keep that delicious flavor. Bon appetit. There you go. As always, please like, share, subscribe to my channel. Give this video to your friends. Show people our skills. Cook this recipe. Sorry, guys. That's Sparky acting like fool. Y'all know how he is. He's a little man with a big attitude. So, yeah. Share this out. Leave a comment if you try the recipe. If you change some stuff up, let me know so your girl can try it out, too. I love you guys. It's Mrs. Tiff on all platforms. That is MRS Tiff.